Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. I'm glad you could join me. I've had a quest on my quest list to, to visit the Shrine of Azura for a long time. So let's start off going there. Go. You didn't even have any horns. Damn it. Holy shit, that's huge. Is that the Shrine of Azura? If I'm not seeing things right, there is a giant statue on top of that mountain, right? Oh yeah, there's a dragon pig nearby. How do you even make something that big? Bear. Jesus. It's like bandits, maybe? Good God. It's a massive. Are you. Are you an enemy? You look kind of harmless. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. Hi! Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. If you say so. Seen my coming? What do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. Handy. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Very well. What does she need? You must go to a fortress endangered by water, yet untouched by it. I think when I know what you're talking about. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Winterhold? Ask if they know this elven enchanter. It's been a while since we've been to the college. Where'd the shrine come from? My people, the Dunmer, built it. We fled from Morrowind after Vardenfell erupted almost 200 years ago. Yeesh. Those of us who were faithful to Azura were given a vision that led us away from the island before the worst came. This shrine is our thanks to her, that none will forget that she watches over us all. The vision is our Good God, that is huge. Like, the only way to build something like that on top of this mountain was the mountaintop used to be bigger and they just carved it all down. And that's impressive. Hi, who are you? I'm on a pilgrimage to the shrine. In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. It's another shrine? It's been a while since we've been in Winterhold. I hear the... Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just leave water. I'm looking May for I an elven mage who studies me. stars. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Yarrow? We agreed there would be no more question. Look, uh, Priestess of Azura sent me. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian maid and the lusty baron. Alright. Fine. I'm looking to pay. A few coins for my soul. If only you understood the irony. What do you know about soul gems? They're a chat. They're for enchanting, they're attached to the soul cairn. They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. An eternal soul gem? Azura's star, a daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find hmm. out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. What did he do? Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, diseased. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. Well, that's not a good idea. It drove him mad. Students started dying. If 
eventually the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinois Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azora. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. How does it work? I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. Interesting. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. What? How did the Daedra dive in the same? Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. Wow, that's messed up. Sounds like he got what was coming to him. The college would agree with you. But you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. All right, then. All right, then. Find Azura's star. I've never heard of this place that he's referring to. So it must be down here somewhere. Find Azura's star. No, I've never been there before. I've, of course, been to this shrine before. Eh. Eh. Got it. Ooh. It's underwater. <laughs> I know what that means. Nice. Oh, no wonder my Magicka wasn't... Oh, never mind. I did that to myself. Never mind. Underwater approach. There's a skeleton. Looks like he's having a good day. Free stuff. Eh. Now we go cause trouble. Oh wow, this seems ominous. Howdy. Fishman's journal. A decent catch of fish is getting harder to come by without a good spot soon. I don't think I'll survive. Traveling further south towards Lake Illinalta. God, that's so hard to say. The whole Imperial Fort just sank to the water one day, and they say the ruins have been haunted since. When they asked, I got ghost stories, tales of people who went out near the lake and never came back. Spirits haunt the hallways of the sunken fort and steal little children from their mother's cribs. No amount of coin could convince any of the nearby villagers to guide me there, so I'm following the White River. The vines protect me. I hope the stories aren't true. Well, they were. Sorry that happened to you. This place is pretty. I mean, it's just like any other fort, really, but the water does add some extra features. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. I'm glad you're here with me. He said ghosties, but I haven't seen any ghosties yet. Should I go up or go down? I'm going down. Ghosties? Are there friendly ghosties here? That's a skeleton. That's a skeleton. Stay on your guard. For skeletons? I mean, I like skeletons as much as the next guy. Is 
there someone else? <laughs> More people around the corner? Necromancers, I swear to god. Keep looking, you'll find me. Dining hall over here that we missed. Yeah, it's no berry. Is that an egg? Yeah. Take some baked potatoes for later. Oh man, a good baked potato. It's a hit right right now. I do love a good baked potato. Are there people in here? Just a skeleton? I got him in the booty. Wait, skeletons don't really have butts. I got him in the lumbar area. That doesn't sound as good. This seems nice. A little watery. Oh, there's a necromancer. Damn, I missed. Don't worry, I got this. Got him in the butt. I got you, Skelly. Poor Agent Scully. Minute destruction. Chain lightning. Ooh. Do I want a staff for chain lightning? No, I don't. I'm kidding myself. Oh, I'm going for a dive. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here. I'm glad I can swim. Serrano, you're not making this easy. Ooh, a chest. Imminent illusion. I'm glad I can breathe underwater and make this a lot easier. She can't drown, can she? Hope not. Man, picking up that circlet of water breathing was the best thing I ever did. It is so handy. We're still on the ground, right? He tall. He didn't have any buddies? No? He got a lot of beds for there being only one guy that lives here. Where'd you come from? Get down. Damn it. I'll get him. 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 I got him. See, I told you. Shit. Shit. Got him. I'll need a bow. See? Told you I got him. There's so many arrows back here from somebody else. I never waste an arrow. Skelly bones, skelly bones. I need some freaking glass any day now. A 
little suspicious of how easily we got here. Get it done. Take that soul gem. And take a dive in the water. There we go. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for a long time. Healing. Not a whole lot of reward, but a little bit of reward. This is an excellent place to have something that gives you water breathing. <laughs> huh. We've gotten farther than I thought we would. It's kind of expecting more uh, the upward direction to not go anywhere. Man, that was easy. Is there a dude in here? No, nobody's here. All right, deluge. Does that mean there's a lot of water? Deluge usually means like a waterfall. <gasps> Jumping into the deluge. Got him. Nope, don't worry about it. Everybody's okay in here, just us dead people. Hey, you know, that kind of works. I'm a vampire. I'm technically kind of undead. I don't know. Are Skyrim vampires undead? Does that count? Can you detect vampires with uh, detect undead? I would more think like a skeleton more than like a vampire, right? I don't know, but that also doesn't seem right. Because, like... Okay. Vampires. The traditional thought is that they're um, they're kind of undead because you're supposed to die and then come back to life as a vampire kind of a thing. But Skyrim vampires, you can kind of just be bitten by one. And then there you are as a vampire. But because you can be cured of it really easily. It's more like a disease. I think Skyrim vampires are more like werewolves. You know? Maybe I've been thinking about this too much. Oh, I smell a baked potato. What cruel irony is this? I don't want a baked potato. I don't have any potatoes. I just went to the grocery store. I'm not going to get a new potato. There's a guy here. He is gonna die. He's fine. Bullshit. Yeah, try to dodge an arrow when it's a cinematic. Glimpness. Why was it why does a skeleton need glimpness? They don't speak. There was a place uh, where I used to live. They had uh, a great restaurant. It's called Tater Shack. Biggest potatoes that you've ever seen. And it wasn't just like, oh, it's just a potato, right? They basically do like a bread bowl, except it's a potato. So you could get like whole meals inside this giant potato. And it was the, like the greatest thing ever. So unhealthy, I'm sure. But... Uh, once in a while, you go get yourself a tater shack tater, and oh my god, be living the life. My favorite was um, they had uh, like uh, what do you call it? Kind of like a roast beef potato. So it'd be like a whole bunch of really slow cooked meat and uh, vegetables, and oh, it was so good. 
Like stuff made in a crock pot. I'm just making myself even more hungry. I, I came into the... I'm hungry already. And I'm just... Making it worse. Don't I have a really good poison? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. I feel like this guy's important. Who's there? Oh, he's just a master necromancer. Um... Okay, those were cinematics. Those were independent of him. Look out, Mr. Skeleton. There's an arrow coming for you. I saw one of my arrows floating away. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Not a lot of people here. Hmm. Not sure if I trust that. Fake rape, snap the flames. What, um. I don't like showing up to a place where everybody's already dead. It makes me think that there's something coming for me. It's broken as a star. Do I have to. Man, the band's grimoire. Black Star, achievement of magic over Daedra. Some scoff, some scores. Notion experimenting on a Daedric artifact. I have succeeded where others would not dare to try. The Black Star of my achievement of the Daedric Lord Zura. Re-envisioning and remastering an ultimate soul gem. Shall become the vessel of my immortality. Find a brute that mortals can live as indefinitely as the denizens of oblivion. Hip. Hip. Come on. Wait, I can fireball you out of this. There we go. Get out of that chair. Bad. Bad skeleton. Pretty surprisingly intact for a skeleton. Ooh, Matasaur. Conjure Storm Atronach. Those come in handy from time to time. I guess we up go. It came out as I guess we up go instead of I guess up we go. Whatever. Bring the star to Arena to bring or bring the star to what? Hold on. Nella car. I could take it to either I guess Aranea. I mean she'd probably be the best one to repair it, right? Since she works for the Daedra. It'd be kind of insane to take it to somebody else who doesn't know what they're doing. Wasn't there two people? Why is there only one now? Well, he did say he was doing a pilgrimage. Hey! A star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Hopefully she can. Here. I will commune with Azura. It's so bright out here. Azura, Christ. mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn. Your chosen champion has returned your star. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Okay. There's a dragon nearby causing trouble. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Varan. You're welcome. But his soul still resides within protected by his enchantments until he is purged my artifact is useless to you so what do i gotta do eventually the star will fade back into my realm What's in oblivion but i doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait yeah no only one option remains I will send you inside the star. Excuse you me? You will banish Malin's soul there. Oh, oh, it seems like there's an easier Tell way to do me that. when you are ready, mortal. Okay. Let's do it. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Yeah. Ah, my disciples have sent Holy me shit. Soul. Good. I was getting hungry. 
Hungry? Why? There's something different about you. Yeah. The, uh, experiment of yours is over. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. I got a hundred mana potions that says otherwise. Let's see. Resist shock just in case. And then we're going to fortify our destruction. Do I get my magic? Yeah, all right. Let's do this. Come back here, bastard. Holy shit, he's got a lot of health. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Sure thing. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. Sure, I think I'm dying. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thanks. Appreciate it. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. I need to heal myself. That Daedric did some damage. So is there just a bunch of random Daedra in there? Also, I have like an infinite soul gem now, okay? Oh, I should probably take out that dragon, right? Yeah, okay. This way. Oh, hey, there's a little thing over here. What the hell is that about? Is that a little dwarven thing? An awful lot of skeletons. That's usually not a good sign. You're... You're alive, aren't you? I'm a little concerned that I can't loot you. There we go. What the hell is the doors to oblivion? Never heard of that. Books. Did I not pick it? I thought I picked it up. Oh no. Weird. Who's there? Oh, hold on. You get a friend. Thanks, Rana. You always have my back. So weird. You don't see this kind of stuff very often. I guess we're going to ignore it and walk away? So strange. Huh. Where you at, buddy? There you are. My spell's strong. Holy shit. Take him out the next time he lands. Goodbye. He killed one of the skelly boys. Hi. You got such a pleasant smile as you writhe on the ground. Cool. Teach me a word. Word of power, learn statue, ice form. Wonderful. Love it. All right, well, I don't think he's going to cough up the goods on his own. 
Oh, that looks so much better in the daytime. Look at that. How big that statue is. Jesus. Alright. Well. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you had a good time. And, uh, hey. Might see you in another video. Bye now. There's gotta be some free shit around here somewhere. Goat! Don't fall off the mountain, goat. I'm coming for you.